Hey world, let's talk about the big O. Today I'm gonna go over O login and O N login. Example one, O login. Imagine I have a phone book with one million names, and I have to use it because I lost my phone with all my contacts in it, and I need to find my friend's number. This function takes an array with all the names in the name that I'm looking for. In the while loop, we cut the array in half, check the name in the middle, and if it does not match our name, we determine which half we continue to search in. We repeat until we find our name. So if there are one million names in the book, and you take the half and the half and the half until you're left with the one that you're looking for, it will be O log n. So what's going on? In this while loop, we're dividing or cutting the array in half until we get the one name. This is logarithmic complexity. O log n looks like this. Basically, the timer steps increase when the size of the book increases. It does not increase linearly, it will grow at a slow rate. For example, you search within three names and it will take two steps. Seven names, three steps. Fifty names, four steps. A hundred names, seven steps. A hundred thousand names, seventeen steps. And a million names, twenty steps. Every time you have to have to find one or double to find n, we will have a log complexity. Also, what I've described was log 2n, but the base has no real impact on the growth rate, so log n is okay. It wouldn't matter if we split the phone book in one third and two thirds, because the log two third of one million are about 35 steps, as opposed to what we did and split the book in half and half, where log of a half of a million are 20 steps. 20 steps are not too far from 35 steps, and that's the power of logarithmic complexity. What if the phone book is not sorted alphabetically? If the phone book is not sorted, it would take you O N because you would need to search through the whole book to find the name. Example 2, O N log N. This pseudocode is taking a list of numbers, splitting the list until we have many lists of one, and then we merge and sort until we have one sorted list. The log N comes from halving the list into sublists of one, and the n comes from each time we merge two sorted sublists. n log n will look like this, which is still a pretty good time complexity. That's it for today. Come back for the next part of Big O.